Hi folks, are you okay today? We're sharing the word of God uh, today. It says, who has believed our report? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. Yet no form of comeliness. When we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. The Lord Jesus Christ was an ordinary person. He was an ordinary person like you and me. He wasn't rich and powerful. He was an ordinary person that you can relate to. He was a carpenter. That's who the Son of God was. He has despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we did as it were. And acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. He was despised and we esteemed him not. In other words, when the Lord died on that cross, when the Lord shed his blood, we did not respect him, we did not honor him, we did not want him, and yet he willingly went to the cross and died for us. Even though we did not respect him, even though we did not want him, yet he willingly went and died for you and me. He willingly went and died for you and me. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we need to esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. He was smitten of God and afflicted. He was afflicted. Why was he afflicted? Why was Christ afflicted? He was afflicted for you and me. He went and died on that cross for you and me. He was afflicted for you and me. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. It says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was wounded for our transgression. That means the things that you and I did wrong, he was wounded for our transgressions. That means when he died on that cross, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was broken on that cross. He was broken on that cross for you and me. He died on that cross for you and me. He was wounded for our transgressions. The things that you and I have done wrong, the things that you and I have done wrong, where we rebelled against God and went against God's law, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was wounded for our transgressions. That is for your transgressions and my transgressions. He was wounded for our transgressions. He shed his blood on that cross and gave his life on that cross that you and I may be forgiven today. All we like sheep have gone astray. We are taking everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him. And the Lord has laid on him. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. When Christ was dying on that cross and shedding his blood on that cross, the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. The wrath of God came upon him and he was crushed on that cross 
for you and me. The Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. And when he died on that cross, he died to save you and me. The Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. And when he died on that cross, he was crushed for you and me. Son of God, who knew no sin, who never lied, who never did no wrong, lay upon that cross, crushed for you and me. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And when he died on that cross, he took the punishment and the wrath that you and I deserve. The wrath of God fell upon him. And the blood that came down was the Son of God. The blood that came down was the Son of God who shed his blood for you and me. That is the blood of Christ. That is the blood of God. That is the Savior for you and me. He shed his blood for you and gave his life for you. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And there, when he hung on a cross and died on that cross, he shed his blood for you and me and broke himself for you and me, that you may live, that you may have a life today. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And he gave his life and shed his blood that you and I may live and have a life. That you and I may live and have a future. He shed his blood for you and me. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And when he was broken on that cross, he was broken for you and me. That you and I can live and have peace. Anyway. Oh, thank you, sir. God bless you. The Lord has laid on, on him the iniquity of us all. Shed his blood for you. Shed his blood for you. And you may know his peace. And you may know his love. And you may know his joy. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And he died to save you. He died to bring you home. He shed his blood for you on that cross. That you may come home to him and find peace and salvation in Jesus Christ. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And if you come to him, you'll find peace. He shed his blood on that cross and lay down his life on that cross to save you from the judgment to come. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And he gave his life for you and shed his blood for you on that cross to redeem you and bring you home to Jesus. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And if you come to him and find peace in him and trust him as your Lord and trust him as your Savior and trust him as your King and trust him as your God, you'll be saved and born again. You'll find peace for your life, hope for your life, joy for your life, peace for your life, comfort for your life. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And if you come to him, you'll find peace and joy in your life. You'll find goodness and the Lord in your life. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And there when he died on that cross, and shed his blood on that cross. 
He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you. So come to him who gave his life. Come to him who shed his blood. Come to him who gave his life and shed his blood to save you today. The Lord has laid on him. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. No matter what you've done, no matter how much you've failed, no matter how, much, how weak you are, he shed his blood and died on that cross to bring you home today. To bring you home to heaven and the joy of the Lord today. Don't go to hell. Don't go to hell. But come home to Jesus. Come home to him who shed his blood and gave his life for you on that cross. He gave his life to save you today. To give you peace and a hope and a future. The Lord has laid, God bless you sir, it's free. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. No matter how much you failed, he died on that cross. No matter how much you've let him down, he died on that cross. He died on that cross to bring you home. He died on that cross to give you a future and a purpose. He died on that cross to save you and to give you a life and a future. That's why he died on that cross. That's why he shed his blood for you and gave his life for you. That you may have life. That you may have hope. That you may have a future. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He died to save you today. God bless, bro.